The Riverbend Film Festival is returning to downtown Goshen in person after a three-year hiatus due to COVID-19. Adrian Nesbitt, the festival director, is excited not only to be in person again, but to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the film festival. We screen over 75 um, short films, a few feature films, uh, films from over 15 different countries, uh, all right in downtown Goshen. The big thing is that we haven't had an in-person festival since 2019, so we're really getting our back up on our feet. But the other exciting component is it's our 20th anniversary since when the festival was founded. So we're really excited to sort of um, bring out all the bells and whistles to celebrate that 20th anniversary. Nesbitt says that the festival would be impossible if not for the many volunteers that make it happen. We have, you know, from Thursday to Sunday, literally over 100 volunteer slots. And so we can't make the festival happen if we don't have good, reliable volunteers. So we've been really lucky. We have um, an amazing volunteer coordinator in Leah Hunsberger. And um, we also like to give perks to our volunteers. So everybody who volunteers gets a free ticket to an event. Um, and it's a great chance to sort of do what you do best. We always gather all of our volunteers the Wednesday night before we start the festival and we get a big group picture. And that's always one of my favorite things to say. Look at all of these people that it takes to make something like this happen. Even if you're not a film buff, there's plenty of events to attend, including a screening of a movie everyone has heard of, along with a very special guest. Our Friday night screening, which is um, a beloved film in this community, in this region, um, and it is actually its 30th anniversary, and that's the film Rudy. So we're excited to have that. We'll have the director, David Anspa, here for a Q&A after the film. Um, and we really think that this community will be excited about that particular film. But otherwise, there's a lot of great after parties and music. We've got a, a different musician performing every day, all, um, but all tied into the festival. So these are folks whose music videos are in the film festival in the shorts blocks. And then we've got them performing live at several of the events. So it really is just a weekend that has a little bit of everything for everybody. Um, and, and even if you're not big into film, like I said, there's concerts, there's parties, there's workshops. So there's something else. Robert Tombari, the Goshen Theater Program Director, is excited to be a part of the film festival and show off all the changes that have been made to the Goshen Theater. So this is actually my first Riverbend Film Festival. So I started here at the theater about a year ago, um, and I am excited because it's the 20th anniversary and we're a host and a partner in this uh, you know, film festival that's happening. In this newly renovated building, it's like, you all get to see this after it's all done. Like, we're, we're so excited to have everybody in here. Both Tambari and Nesbitt are excited to be back in person and are both looking forward to specific events on the schedule. Um, Friday night screening of Rudy, Saturday night screening of State of Unity by the Bergamot, and then there's a workshop on Friday morning or Friday afternoon that's being hosted by a few of the special guests that's on Alexander technique and improv techniques for actors and movement for actors, and I am, I am planning on going to that event. I'm really excited for the, the public to receive the Bergamot's documentary that's gonna be on Saturday at five o'clock. Um, it's called State of Unity, and it's just a really beautiful message about coming together, even though maybe we have different um, beliefs and, and um, ways of living to say, you know, we're all one um, people. And so, and, and, you know, following that documentary, really excited for their concert. For more information, you can visit riverbendfilmfest.com. For Globe News, I'm Melissa McDonald.